So I got a real quick one for you today. Genki, these guys, they put out a lot of stuff, like their little tiny dock for the Nintendo Switch, their shadow cast, their capture devices. Now they got this whole line of stuff that they did like a Kickstarter for that I believe they're shipping now. And if you missed out on that, you can order on their website or through Kickstarter, like, you know, late pledges, that kind of thing. But I thought some of this stuff was pretty neat. Maybe not gonna be for everybody. Even some of this stuff is not stuff that necessarily completely interests me. But a couple of these items are actually really cool in my opinion, but hey, we're just gonna quickly look at it. So they have a few things here. This one right here is the, the most interesting one to me. And then I, I love 8-bit dose stuff. So exclusive 8-bit dose stuff, hells yes. But let's take a quick look, right? So we have this, uh, this thing. Let's take a quick look. Saya sling bag, console sleeve tech pouch. This is neat, but this one I don't care for. Um, it's kind of expensive, 79 bucks. Now it does look really nice. It's neat. It's supposed to have uh, like this little thing in here where you can track it if somebody steals your stuff, I guess. Let me get this open. How does this clip open? It's like, ugh. you could put your Switch, your Steam Deck, there's all sorts of stuff you could put in here. Let me get this busted open here. Um, but yeah, it's like a it's a it's a tech bag, carrying a carrying pouch, like a a samurai sling for a katana or something. I don't I don't know that, whatever it was inspired by. That's what it is. You could you could put your your devices in here. But yeah, it has like this this little thing. I guess you hide it in here somewhere, but if somebody stole your device in this thing and they found this, they could just throw it away and then you can't track it. So you gotta hide this good, right? So yeah, you gotta hide this in here somewhere. I, I don't know where, but there's a lot of little little uh, areas to store accessories and whatnot. Oh, and you get this little like wipe thing. I don't know, to clean the screen from your greasy mitts. Like a little spritz thing and then you could like wipe it. It's kind of neat, you know, whatever. Cool little sling bag, sling blade bag. I, I don't know, dude. It, it's neat, it's, it's premium looking, it's nice, but I mean, it's like a man purse. Are you gonna wear this around? I mean, it's kind of trendy, dude. It's not gonna be for everyone, it's not for me. Easy one hand opening, you sling it over and you carry your stuff around. Cool, dude. Okay, 79 bucks for this thing. It's nice. But yeah, not my style, not my style. You know what I'm saying? And then we have uh, the SN30 Pro Pocket Pro Edition. Now, I've covered these uh, controllers extensively in the past, so I'm not gonna sync this up to anything and like play with it right now because it's like, you know, we've used this controller a ton. I just want to take a look at it. I think this is like 40 something bucks, but I love this controller. And this one, okay, I thought it was going to be a little more clear looking, but it's frosty. It's a little frosty fella. It's nice. Oh, they, I like that. I like that they did that. These, these people. I mean, that's 8-bit those doing, but they printed on there like how to set it up for PC or Steam, for Switch, or for Apple and Android. Nice. I wonder if they did that with their newer versions of these. But it's just a newer, you know, styling of the SN30 Pro. And this one does look pretty slick. You can see the battery back there, 480 milliamp hour battery. But I mean, it has Hall Effect sticks. It is Hall Effect version. Um, Bluetooth, all your compatibilities there. This is a, a very nice controller. It's just their Genki, 8-bit though Genki version. Really cool. Nice style. And then the next thing is their turbo charger. Their pocketable 100 watt flat GAN wall charger, dual USB-C. So yeah, they, they sent all this stuff to me to check out. Um, 
Yeah, you know, it's just like sharing with you guys to make you aware of it, I guess, you know. So if you're interested, you could buy it. Like, uh, am I going to sit here and tell you to buy it? No. Like, I don't care. Buy it if you want. Don't buy it. I don't, like, I mean, it's not really, you know, anything I give a crap, you know, if you want to buy it or not. What the hell is that? What's the point of this? What is this? Oh, it's like a... I don't remember what they call these things, dude. I don't, I don't know the technical term, dude. But they do got a nice little... Uh, they do, their cables are always pretty nice, man. Look at this, like braided ass cable, with the Genki logo on there. But here's their, um, this is neat though, for sure. Like, especially if you travel, this is pretty neat. I don't remember how much this cost. But that is cool. Wall charge, plug that ish in. 100 watts you got two bam be charging a couple things at once your uh steam deck your asus rog ally your laptop or something this is cool like i like that they make cool little things like this so that, that's pretty slick that's pretty slick but the thing that i really liked besides the controller um was this the save point uh ssd enclosure designed for the steam deck rog ally or other other, uh, you know, handhelds, handheld optimized, 100 watt pass through charging, MagSafe compatible, protective capacitor, M2-2230 SSD integrated heat sink. That is slick, dude. So let's take it. Let's take a look at this. So they had a bunch of different colors. They sent me this bluish one. I don't know what, what they call this color. I'm sure they have some wonky name for it, but um, there it is. Don't forget the save, the save point. This is the coolest thing right here. So I'm assuming this is to plug into your device, this side, and then this is for pass through charging. That's pretty dope. So little hex key right there. I think it comes with one. I'm assuming... And I know on the Kickstarter, yeah, it does. I know on the Kickstarter, they uh, they had where you could add on like a little 2230 drive. Otherwise, you would have to like buy your own. But these, like, this is cool. Like, you, like, little MagSafe uh, magnet. Throw it on the back of your device. Link it up. And go, but let me open it up. I know I, I I already have a drive in here, and I'll I'll demonstrate it. Like booting up Windows on the Steam Deck is pretty sweet, because you know, like you don't have to like overwrite like your drive on the Steam Deck to have Windows. You could just leave you know your Steam OS on there. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Save point one terabyte. Pretty cool. So there's that. Let me uh, put this back together and then I'm gonna plug it into the uh, Steam Deck. Like I'm, I'm not sure because like if you wanna do the uh, power, like the charging pass through, like I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm not gonna do the MagSafe thing. Um, it would be nice though to have it on there. But uh, I have Windows on that drive so I do have to power on and then I think hold left on the power and volume down, I think to get into, to select. There we go, there it is. So yeah, now I can select my USB device Genki save point and boot from there. So here we go, I'm in Windows. Thanks to the uh, Genki save point, I didn't have to like redo my drive on the, the Steam Deck. I have dual boot, essentially, right? Okay, so I got Cyberpunk 2077 running through the Genki save point with, through Windows. I mean, you could run Cyberpunk on the Steam Deck anyway through Steam. But yeah, I mean, there's obviously 
other things you could do with Windows, but that's all I had installed on there. A lot of cool stuff with this little setup that uh, Genki's selling, if you're interested. But uh, let me exit out of that. Exit out of that. Uh, there's little caveats with Windows, things you got to tweak to get, you know, working properly with Steam Deck. Like they've, you know, Steam's been improving things with drivers and stuff to make sure it works properly with the Steam Deck. So look into all that if this is something you want to do. But if you want to check out all the Genki stuff, uh, links in the description. Let me, let me, uh, I don't, I didn't put the uh, Steam Deck in this uh, little sleeve thing. But yeah, it just slips right on in there. You know, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you could put like a Switch in here and then a Switch in here. Have multiple uh, Switches in here. But uh, that's pretty much how it goes. But there you go. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I mean, my favorite thing out of this whole setup is the save point. Because I think it's a, a neat little uh, device. So, yeah, that's my pick out of the whole setup. But, yeah, let me know. Bye.